Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everybody. Hello. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. And that's your girl, me, in animational form. But that's my face. And that's my face, too, in animated form. So if you see any of these as my little avatar that's uh, introducing my channels, we know we got the other one going on over there. And that's my avatar that shows you're at the right place. <clears throat> but I'm uh, looking to change my other avatar. Uh, or my picture with my little snow hat on. So y'all will probably see that uh, cute picture of me. Alright. <clears throat> I just didn't want to throw it up there. And y'all didn't know if y'all were at the right house. Which is Deb Chanel's 48th world. But yes, this is what's trending now. Uh, thank you, Kathy, for telling me what my other uh, YouTube blogger. That I watch sometimes here and there is doing and saying and hustler and housewives. If you don't know who he is, he gets this little paper roll scroll and he reads all proclamations of what may happen or could possibly happen. This, that, and the third. He gives me a chuckle here and there. So go and check him out. Okay. And you're going to see uh, some pictures that I got from the Jasmine brand. She's another really heavy hitter blogger been in the business for a long time uh she has her own podcast she has her own uh like a dot com type website where she puts out stories and they're very factual because she does do her work her resources or her research when she is coming out with different stories that's why she does exclusives because she has um had many celebrities in the reality world come and talk on her show and give insight of what they're doing and the comes and goings and this that and the third but i just heard from one of my family members on my channel her name is kathy uh i think it's kathy smith so shout her out fam for uh giving me more commentary to talk about because that's what my family does they go they do their own research due diligence and they think i can say a little something extra and i appreciate each and every one of you all because you definitely can send me stories in the chat because you know i'm always commenting commenting with you down uh i don't really have an email address because i don't really think it's necessary well you can just tell me on this platform you know what i'm saying and it you know because i'm 54 and you know hey we need to keep things in one place i don't have time to go check here and there and everywhere okay just talk to me like i talk to you in the comment section okay but you see what's going across the screen and what video we're in yes this today oh <laughs> uh, i guess it would be the first of june no yeah first of may we are headed to shitsville okay we'll probably reside here for a couple of days because there's just too much going on and there is talk from what i hear hustling housewives are saying that they trying to resurrect um uh, what do you call it? Um, family, Portia's family matters. And I'm trying to figure out why in the hell would they do such a horrific thing? Because we left it burning. And you know how they have those fires in um, California. How they can't just put too much water on it because it's just out of control. So just, just let it burn till they have no more landscape or um, place to burn anymore in the woods or what i'm saying so and they had to evacuate people that sought to build houses around volcanoes and and uh, other heavy hit dry places where fire just catches on from the sun rays and all that kind of thing 
but I'm pretty sure they have insurance because I don't know what person would build their house in a real hazardous area where dryness can spark flames and then everything that you built and worked hard for it goes up in flames but yeah Portia 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 that's the Jasmine Brand cool. go seek her out and like I said she does excellent stories out there but they're saying that she wants to resurrect the family matters okay and I'm like no you don't you don't want to do that let us continue to stay burning don't put no more gasoline on it and we won't have any sun rays to affect it to continue to burn 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 but we want it to burn until it burns out but your show wasn't like uh, don't be tardy for the party. Your show wasn't like candy and the game. They didn't talk about their family members. Okay. They didn't do these things. They just let uh, it have. And they tried to be peaceful and come to an understanding. And all that great stuff. They showed more positiveness than Ratchet TV show. But what uh, and even Can had said. She turned every time it came on. Because he, she wasn't making a fool out of her family members. You were poor. So you remember Storm. Storm had said your baby daddy. Which was Dennis. Who you were engaged to. Uh, your ex fiance. That he's going to put your baby daddy. Your your baby daddy. You know the one that she loves. PJ over there. You know what I'm saying. That has more fun with him than you. Uh, Portia. Yes. And then he threatened to seek litigation so he can have 50 50 percent um of total control of his daughter's life because you're doing a bang up job no i was just kidding there you're doing a piss poor job with keeping her away from foolishness you see what i'm saying because you don't see lauren baby uh when she's taping with child in a whole lot of foolishness but you want to put baby girl in that situation and then you got an old drunk head or she looks like a drunk head she acts like a drunk head or she just has air in her head okay airspace warrior is what i call her then you have your mama who acts gangster and talks gangster but when shit is brought to her she runs and hides she tucks her tail she closed the door for nobody to know she's at home and she be incognito when we need her to come in and show out and dispute some of the things that mama gina was saying to you that you that she said your mama told her you see so your mama's not a writer okay she's not a writer and we we don't need people like that to go stir up shit and then can't come and defend themselves when need be and when you were on the show Portia you weren't happy I didn't really see any happy moments I saw a lot of drinking moments I saw a lot of smoking moments but you even made one of your cousins on your daddy's side cry because you couldn't take with her no more because she was telling you truth and you couldn't handle the truth then you're over there conjuring up spirits and shit but you're supposed to be a christian and we don't conjure up spirits in the christian world i'm just saying and then again that storm storm worked for dennis and who's to say they didn't have a, a relationship a situation it might have been what it was and it is what it is because he knew her before he knew you Portia. okay so I'm just like, hmm. Then you give us this fake fraudulent fuckery, uh, foolishness with the gloves on. I mean, was it the the ingredients you were making was gonna stain your hands in some way? I don't know. But see, you were raised by that woman, and that woman somewhere went wrong in raising you and putting a hole on you and learning you uh, more values uh, other than using your body and your face to get what you want. Cause that's how you attracted and caught Dennis. Okay, and you ended up with baby girl. That's the only thing seeing positive came out of that then you got your great grandmama over there calling dennis a playboy okay a hoe but <laughs> couldn't we say the same thing about you portia because Lonnie was pretty much telling you that you weren't william's material on your daddy's side you were bought in through marriage okay and it's just a hot mess okay i'm not understanding where we're going with this your cousin over there very beautiful woman said you and your mama diane didn't even come to her when she lost her mother okay was it true portia i think it probably was because you didn't go and defute or dispute any of that um and like i said dennis do what you got to do because if she brings the show back hopefully you're not on it and hopefully you will 
do a petition where PJ is not on it. Okay, because we don't need it. She even brought a chef in to help her prepare a meal or dinner for Simon. But she's supposed to be up in that kitchen and doing it, make it do what it do. All right, and see, Dar Darlene, she's crazy as hell. I just recently saw her over there trying to make it rain on baby girl PJ. Now, who does that kind of shit on Easter at that? All right, and then we got Esther over there. I don't know if she looking for an African man. May she continue to continue to look on her own. Because we won't. And we don't want to see this shit. And we still, I mean, we still can't get over the last scene when your so-called boyfriend tried to get on your aunt. Okay? Your aunt Elizabeth. Now, how shady is that that he can... Take a picture with her and that mama smile, kikis and ha-has. And then in the next scene, he cussing her out in a nice way. You see what I'm saying? He putting her in her place, which he had no business trying to put nobody in their place. Because we haven't found the place that he needs to be in. Other than shit's feel and go back to Ben in Africa where he can get himself together. Because he's not coming out right. He's not coming over here in the States right. And he can't even become verified. So. That's a problem and I gave you three problems or questions you need to be asking him and why he is coming and going. And of course in this scene right here you were calling yourself getting an elder together. Yes, was Dennis mom trying to tell her to not disrespect your great or your grandma. Like how the hell are you going to tell somebody that's older than you that can tell you where to come and go. And this same man. Your fiance tried to get a old, another elderly woman together. What is wrong with you and Simon? Okay. Y'all are bad blood. Y'all come from bad stock. And y'all need to get the hell on away from our TV screens. Okay. Because you're not coming with good stock. You're not coming with good spirits. You're not coming with good, uh, what do you call it, karma. You're not coming with good vibes. Because right here, you were telling everybody to don't talk to the producers and don't discuss the scene where you were throwing uh, microphone stands, band equipment, uh, plates, knives, forks, and even the kitchen table. Okay? You didn't want them to talk about that situation. See, that's how your grandmother and your mother raised you. Deflect, deflect flag lie lie until you get where you want to go now that is piss poor parenting and my uh way of thinking and living and i can't get with none of that bullshit and mama gina is what you need tough love and it's gonna tell you the truth even if it hurts your ass okay but at least you could say somebody down the line told you to toe the road straight stay with the good and faithful but you chose not to she gonna call a spade a spade every day any day of the week now your mother on the other hand she's going to be one of your enablers and your greatest supporters when you're still bringing in the checks because she's retired now she has no money really on her own so you are her money maker all right and of course we saw some bad sides of miss elizabeth and we saw some positive sides but either or it seems like she got a little dementia going on because she was Focusing on both uh, Simon and Dennis and giving them both accolades. And I'm like, you cannot do that. You got to toe the road. You got to choose a side. And right now, she just wanted donations money from either and every place she could get it. And that's how Miss Elizabeth was getting down. Now, as we can see, uh, throughout the whole thing of Family Matters of Portia's life, PJ was being... Um, kind of like film too much because she was kind of out of her element and she wasn't happy most of the time all right so Dennis do what you got to do to make sure she is not shown in any of this new series uh, or, or follow-up to the first debacklement of a show Portia had put together now I don't think you or Mama Gina need to worry about that or need to be seen because we can tell from the comings and goings of these past holidays y'all are not represented now I can say burn baby burn burn this mother down and I'm talking about Portia Williams show that uh, evidently Bravo is trying to see because they keep tired of her big and they want to get their ratings up and they want to make more money off the black woman showing and 
proving that we are not worthy to have a show where it shows us in a positive light. Now I got to say, because I like uh, Disco Inferno, so we know we need to sing that song for a minute. To my surprise, one hundred stories high, people getting loose, y'all getting down on the roof. Hey, hey, folks are screaming, screaming out of control. It was so entertaining when the boogie started to explode. I heard somebody say, boom, baby, boom, and this going burn burn that mother down. And this going burn Burn that shit down Cause we don't want Papa Smurf Father Time to get any more press We don't want to see Darlene Or Portia in their mess We don't want to see it No, 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 no Hell to the no, no, no We don't want to see it We don't want to see it And we definitely don't want to see Miss Princess Queen Miss Gina up in that outfit no more That was a, a messed up scene I didn't like that outfit But I just, I didn't ever talk about it before But no, Mama Gina We just need you in your rare form And uh, all your little wigs and stuff like that And love it on your granddaughter Okay, and shading Portia every chance you get Because she ain't learned nothing She ain't mature <coughs> and this whole mess about Simon coming out trying to uh, see his uh, newfound family members. Uh, he need to go find his family members and we need to see them. You know, Portia, you need to throw some shit. Oh, and, and, and shout out to Richard Sky. I think he was a, a what was he? He appeared on some kind of reality show. Didn't quite make it for him, but he started a YouTube channel. I think he kind of hang with Funky Dineva or somebody like that. So shout him out. Go watch his YouTube channel. He's very cute as as well. Uh, <coughs> but this mess right here. Uh-uh, uh-uh. See, that was Portia. On her show, when she told everybody the night before, after that fight had broke out, to don't talk to producers, don't even discuss this, that, and the third. And it was shown. She thought they were going to blank it out, air it out. But her own family dropped the dime on her. Okay. And I was like, are you trying to bring them back? Are you trying to bring new families back? Oh, hell to the no, no, no. We don't need to see it, Portia. See, you need to straighten up and fly right. You need to stop letting these executives of this reality show break you, make you to something that you don't want to be just for that dollar see that's you chasing a dollar and not letting the dollar and the opportunities chase you now we already got grandmama over there she don't know if she coming or going and she's calling out people when she should be calling out herself and what she raised she shouldn't be in your kool-aid but you always got your family flossing trying to talk about somebody else's family and then when they break out and cuss you out and your list of family members you got an issue you got a problem see that's the same uh, shit you were doing in London when you were having tea or with her and you were talking about oh people getting in your ear this that and third nah ain't nobody getting in their ear she watching the shit play out in full force watching you ain't nobody tell her anything that wasn't true but you tried to deflect Portia you tried to deflect now you're out here in the public you ain't even talking about your uh, fictitious book you called it uh, autobiography your true life but I read it I purchased it I lost my money but I did recoup some of it because I made videos off of it okay and it just is what it is but you don't love nobody but yourself you would throw in and everybody under the bus to get what you want so that show me you are trying to be in that illuminated type of situation you want to make the money and you don't care how you have to get it you just like the way you are you like the way you floss and you want to stay in that environment and to do such things as that you got to do a lot of strange things a lot of strange things that compromise who you are as a person so pretty much you don't sold out to the industry we will keep you there throw you away and not look back until you bring some real stuff to us we show you have matured because you have it all right you're trying to bring down a hard working man to make it do what it do trying to make a legacy for him and his family you were a part of that family at one time and to this day i don't think he's still trying to really shade you because you are the mother of his child so you could tell he comes from good stock and he tries to uphold everything but and he will probably even if you left Simon, he would probably try to date you again. I don't know how far it would go because I'd be like, brother, pay attention to what she has done. Because a, sh a sheep, what do you know, call it? A, a tiger or a leopard. What is it? Don't change their spots. Oh, Lord. My baby boy. 
my grandson just cutting up with his toy. I don't know what he's doing. He don't like me to be too much on the air. He want me to play with him. Okay, Jada. <clears throat> and so, speaking of the book here, she tries to promote it, but it ain't going nowhere. She just got a whole warehouse that she got to probably bring to her house and, and stock them there. Because ain't no sense of paying storage on some shit that needs to be sent in the dollar store or family dollar or dollar general. I'm sure each one of y'all have one of them stores, one of them stores in y'all area or wherever y'all stay. Okay. But that is where Portia Williams' book needs to be uh, sought out. Because it shouldn't go for anything over two fifty, And I'm talking about $2.50. All right. And Elizabeth don't have too much to do with Portia. Because Portia won't uh, apologize to the Black Lives Matters. And how she pretty much infiltrated their structure to make a storyline on the show. Giving her good press, but she's out there fighting and carrying on with her baby daddy and trying to jump on senior citizens as well. Okay, that's what we got when we're looking at Portia. Pure evil, pure evil incarnate. And the man that she, we just call her the devil and his wife. Okay, Simon is the devil and Portia is the devil's wife because that's what she seems like she wants to be a part of. Ratchetness, a ratchetness show because, like Lauren says, she's too stubborn. Portia don't want to listen. She don't want to see that this man ain't nothing but a scammer. We can't. What they've been dating a year now, you know, so-called dating, living together, shacking, and yet we still don't see what this man does. Okay, now that's a problem. That's a problem. That's a problem. But Portia say it shouldn't be our problem. But then you shouldn't be on our screen, baby, because we're gonna always try to look and dive into what he does. Is he a scammer, girl? Is he running numbers? Is he a pimp? Let us know because we want to know so we can try to tell you, though you're a lifeline like Portia, get out of that mess before you lose your daughter in the process. We are just keeping it all 100 because we're tired of all your bullshit. All right, stop knocking on doors that are closed to you. Go to school, get a degree, get it in marketing or business and start some real shit. I'm sure Dennis can tell you something about it because he is becoming one of your competitors now because he got that good 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 hair out there products the extensions the weeds the wigs he got it going on baby he done revamped and restructured and rebranded that part of his life and he's gonna give you a run for your money so where is the competition where's your man simon gabbardi at why hasn't he done anything to refute or give Dennis a little competition. What kind of money is he putting out in your business? Okay. You should have wrote a part two to the pursuit of Portia. I wouldn't buy it because I just don't feel like reading no more of your bullshit. You give that too much to me on the screen and in social media that I can make content out of. Okay. And I said, no, I was going to buy your sheets. But see, you keep putting PJ in harm's way. Trying to get another show. So, no, I don't want to do that for you. I don't want to give you any more of my hard working con and i still haven't forgot about how you try to get your cousin to put dennis in a mexico jail mexico portia really you know they don't like the brown people down there and then he would be subjected to a god who knows what all right but you finna do that to brother man dennis and i don't like it i've forgiven you but i haven't forgotten about that mess okay don't be a jezebel spirit like you've been for the last couple of years girl straighten up and fly right or is it too late i don't know i'm thinking the latter part it's a little bit too late because you're over there messing with father time he's giving you ultimatums allegedly that you need to get back on a tv show or he is gone gone to the next victim he is going to try to pursue okay because actually you got hooked up with him you were down in his dms when you should have been in fallon Pena's dm okay and that's jasmine brand i gave y'all her marquee that's what her um website looks like as well as her avatar so go over there and listen to her podcast her dot com and and other uh news that she brings out so that we can use and she is a credible source and like i say portia let go and let god but it seems like you're serving the devil himself and you're doing it very well so you keep on winning as you say but we think you're losing 
on the end stick okay but no we don't want it and if we could protest to get it out against it i would be the first one or some of the ones in there trying to boycott you from making a bigger fool out yourself okay there's are other lucrative ways to making money you know products you know that you can sell to the masses such as what you're doing with your hair Nake, go naked hair how is that doing for you Portia how are the sheets doing all right but stop letting these ratchet TV shows that only have one purpose. And that is to s destroy you and your brand and make them money. You're going to always have going to have to do more and more things that make you look sick, stupid, and dumb. Okay, stuck on stupid is where your dial is now. Because the show, again, needs to burn 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 that mother down okay and if it was such positiveness for you i know it was lucrative money for you but they still didn't give you what you were worth you see what i'm saying because they own stuff that means they own you lock stock and barrel and you got to keep knocking at they do giving them ideas of what and how they can continue to make a fool out of you all right because you're letting them do it to you you're letting them screw you literally all right and that is just not acceptable and dennis if you can get this video and hear what i am saying please get 100 percent custody of your daughter because portia done lost her mind with this bravo chasing dream of an idea she's ready to put everybody and anybody in harm's way by keep messing with an entity that is definitely destroying her inside and out okay the streets are talking you know the streets talking because i know you're listening but ain't no sense that your daughter have to be in the midst of all of this okay enough is enough is enough we cannot go on we cannot go on no more now okay Portia, if you want to go get another show that shows you and simon trying to live the best life the child can okay we can get with that will it be a hit hell i don't know for all the time i was doing something i definitely can make commentary off of like his exercising non-exercising i sh should say and all the stuff to give him a heart attack that he uh contributes in like smoking drinking and eating bad foods full of grease and uh preservatives it's just one of those things so hopefully y'all like this video okay and y'all share it out and um get it to Portia not Portia get it to a dentist or something because he really needs this shit he needs to know you know that Portia but he probably already know the streets be talking to him too and she trying to get a part two of this show I'm like who is she going to rent what family members is she going to buy out to want to be on a ratchet show that she's going to be a part of and showing them in bad light? Okay, that's going to, if they are business people, or if they are entrepreneurs, she would destroy their brand. You see what I'm saying? Because she definitely has her brand in the toilet and it's just shit piled on top of shit on top of shit. Okay, because she still haven't got married. She still can't show us what. Uh, her boyfriend does for a living only thing they do is take uh, selfies of one another uh, showing them how they can party how they can drink how they can eat and how they can buy useless shit okay that can be here today gone tomorrow for somebody when they die will be uh partaking of all the luxurious things they have acquired all right but that's all i got for this video guys hopefully y'all like a little bit and want more get down in those comments dialogue with one another and you know i will see y'all down there as well and we'll keep doing this thing making it do what it do all right but i'll see y'all next video Bye bye